with Governor Abbott set to provide guidelines to open the state. What does that mean for the Permian Basin? I think there's certainly a, an amount of risk that, that goes along with reopening things, and, and we're going to have to, to recognize that there's some risk. Uh, that will make it that much more important that we keep reinforcing those those social distancing rules and hand hygiene and, and emphasizing to people that if you feel sick, uh, even if your business has reopened, you don't need to be there. But at some point in time, we will have to reopen the economy. Obviously, we can't uh, continue to function as a society uh, with the restrictions that are in place right now, the needed restrictions that are in place right now. So it will take the wisdom of Solomon to decide uh, how fast and when to uh, to lift these restrictions. You know, we turn the economy off like a light switch, but we will not be able to turn it back on that quickly. I think there are, there are ways to ease into this while still maintaining the social distancing that we need to do to be safe. That's, you know, the more, obviously, the more people are out in the community, the more exposed to each other we are, the higher that risk gets. What we do in mental health death cell will be different than what's done in, uh, say, Houston, as an example, with the denser populations. But uh, I would anticipate that, that as we reopen, it will be uh, a combination of these guidelines, uh, social distancing. At the same time, we expand the number of businesses that are, that are under the uh, non-essential category right now 